Hi there, my name is Aviram and I'm from the Global Information Solutions team. This video explains how to send a configuration to a target switch using provision. You can use provision to create and send the configuration to a target switch during a new implementation. Let us begin by starting provision. When you start provision, the system displays a main provision window with a provision explorer window within it, which is this window. You can choose to display the event log viewer and the transaction viewer windows from the view menu. Both of these are helpful to check the status of communication and the events that occur between provision and the target switch. The first step is to add a project. To do so, right click on your computer name icon and select new project in the new project wizard, enter a name for your project, let's say project 1. Ensure that you have selected the switch option since you are going to be sending the config to a target switch. Provision can also be used to send configs to other devices such as a messaging system. But for this example, let us use a switch. Enter a unique name for your switch and also select the appropriate switch from the list of switches. Click Next. On the screen, you can add objects, which are also known as tables, to your project. Or you can also add these objects at a later stage, which is what we will do. Click Next. Similarly, you can set up a connection between provision and the target switch, but we will set up the connection in a few moments. Click Next. Review the project summary and click Finish. Expand the provision icon and you can see that the new project, project 1, is created. If you select the project, you can see a switch icon in the right pane. Let's configure a connection between the switch and provision. To do so, right click the switch icon and select properties. Select automatically login. Enter the login name for your switch and enter your password. If you are using a D admin, you need to also enter a PIN. Once you have done that, click Add. In the network connection section, enter the host IP address. the port number and also select the use SSH option. You can also use the system name or the fully qualified domain name instead of the IP address. Click OK and click OK once again. Let us get back to adding a config to the project. To add a blank config, expand the project menu, right click on switch and select new config. You can see that a new configuration is added to your project. You can rename the config depending on your design or leave it at its default value. To add tables or objects to the config, right click the config and select new table. Select the tables that you want to add from this list. Let's say these tables and click OK. You can see that the tables are added. Since this tutorial needs a functioning configuration to explain how the configuration is sent to the target switch, I will use an existing configuration which works in the same manner. As you might have noticed, there is another project called Sample Project. Just like you added a switch and a config to Project 1, there is also a switch and a config that has already been added inside the sample project. The config also has the required tables added to it. Before we look at the actual table configuration and send procedure, let us establish a connection between provision and the switch. Let's open the communications monitor window 
to see the events in real time. Now to establish the connection, select the switch and click on the connect slash disconnect icon. Provision connects to the target switch and you can see the connection in the connection status tab here. The status shows idle because at this moment there is no exchange of data taking place between provision and the target switch. You can see that the communication has occurred in the communication monitor window as well. I'll go ahead and close the communications monitor window but feel free to keep it open as it will help you keep track of the communication events. Let us go back to the config. You need to configure the tables based on the design of your enterprise. For example, let's configure the dial plan analysis table. To open the table, double click the table. If this was a new configuration, there would be no data present in this table. After you customize the table and enter the data, also ensure that you set the generated field to N in the top right corner. Save the table by clicking on the save icon and close the table. Similarly, you can configure the other tables that you want to send to the switch. For this example, let us assume that you have configured the dial plan analysis system parameters features, locations, and node names IP tables. Let's send these four tables to the switch. Click the send icon. In the list of available object types, there is a list of all the available tables. We need to select the four tables that we have decided to send to the switch and move them to the send these objects list. To do so, select the table and double click on it. You can also select the table and click the right arrow. As you can see, the four tables now appear in the send these objects list. Provision can automatically determine the correct order for sending the tables to the target switch. This ensures that the rules for prerequisites are followed. For instance, the dial plan has to be defined prior to adding any objects that relate to extension numbers. To use this option, click default order. As you can see, the order in which the objects will be sent changes. You can schedule provision to send the objects at a defined time by clicking on run later or click on run now to send the objects right away. When you do so, the system prompts you to save the send data. If you want to save the send data, click yes and save the file as a .tsn file. Click save. The send process commences. You can see that the event log viewer and the transaction viewer windows show the progress and the events that occur. This process will take significantly longer depending on the number and the size of the tables that you choose to send. Let us give it a minute for the last table to be sent. As you can see, the status is finished and the log viewer also shows that the last table has been sent. The last thing that you need to do is to log into the switch and verify that the right configurations have been uploaded. To do so, click on emulator. Let's say you want to verify the configuration for the dial plan analysis table. Type display dial plan space analysis. So the format is display space the table name and press enter. 
you can see that the configuration has been correctly uploaded similarly you can view and verify the configuration for the other objects as well close the emulator once you have finished the verification this concludes the tutorial on sending a configuration using provision to a target switch thank you for your time today we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on twitter at avaya mentor for more details or related information please visit support.avaya.com thank you for choosing avaya